I just want to hear your impressions of the week because in addition to all of the great golf that we've been enjoying, there's been a few extra things going on on property. Yes, but really they haven't interfered with the golf like I expected they would. I, it feels like it's a golf tournament with a little extra buzz. That's been my impression. You know, obviously when the motorcade rolls in, everyone pulls out their cameras and, and films the president's arrival and there's, there's a lot of commotion for about 15 or 20 minutes and then he's in his box and it, it kind of subsides. So, but the fact that the president of the United States has put out like a half dozen tweets about a women's golf tournament, if you take everything else away, that's pretty incredible. So there's no question Trump has elevated the, the visibility and just the general buzz around this. Yeah, Michael, regardless of where you stand politically, the fact is a sitting president is here at the U.S. Women's Open Championship for the first time ever. But in Alan's point, I mean, I don't even think it's actually increased the buzz. I mean, this feels like just another U.S. Women's Open at a very nice golf course. The players seem to like it. And it just so, it, to me, it's more like it just so happens the President of the United States owns it and is here and is tweeting about various, at, about women's golf, but also yeah. about political stuff at yeah. the same time. But Mike Davis went in there, or the executive director of the USGA, had a 70-minute, not a meeting, just a golf chat with Trump. And I think for Trump, on a personal level, it must be just a nice break to be here and uh, enjoying his golf course that he basically built. He got it done. And uh, he's dreamt about having uh, a major championship here, and he has it.